Hey guys, I'm Spikeosaurus, and today I used a genetic algorithm to build this environment. So what you are seeing right now is the output of a genetic algorithm that I made for a class in college. In a future video, I will go into more detail explaining how this works, but basically what it does is it first creates random shapes, then I select what shapes I find interesting, then it crosses over and mutates those objects' genes to create new objects for the next generation. I do this until I find shapes that I want for the video and then import them into Minecraft and start building. Also, the seed object for this program can be any .stl file, and for this video I made a basic diamond-shaped object, and in the future I will test out other objects. For this video I just wanted to demonstrate how these shapes could be used, so I start terraforming a landscape with GoBrush, World Edit, and Voxel Sniper, in which I will then paste these objects into. So I start out by trying out GoBrush for a little bit, and then I get the large shapes in with World Edit by pasting in large cylinders. Once I get the basic shape, I smooth it with Voxel Sniper. After I get a good smooth landscape, I go back in with GoBrush to rough stuff up a bit and make it look a little bit more rocky, and I can certainly use some more practice with the GoBrush texturing. Once I'm happy with the whole shape of the landscape, I do a fairly basic coloring by applying green concretes to the less steep areas and brown and cyan hardened clay to the steeper areas to look like cliffs. Now here's where it gets interesting. It's time to paste in the objects that my program created using a program called Binbox to get them into Minecraft. I limit the size to 64 blocks because the terrain wasn't that high, but I do have the ability to make these objects as big or as small as I want to. Now that they are all in this Minecraft world, I start rotating and pacing them all around the landscape. For now I'm going to leave them as stone, but I may change the color in the next video to match whatever I end up building in this landscape. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. This is part one of this build and I plan on doing a whole series of different builds using the program that I made. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I'm Spikeosaurus and I'll see you next time.